when we do this stretch like we did. Stretch. Keeping yourself in line with your side. Stretch. And then you're going to come to the back. And come around here, y'all, and video the person over here. Please. You want to place the arm down, place the knee up here to support the body, and place one foot up here. Because what we're going to do then with palm over hand, we're going to compress into the side of the head. This is for gallbladder, right, where it starts on the side of the head. And we're in a position where we're right over the work so we can just let our body weight sink in. And you're just going to compress starting here and around the ear and back a couple of times. And this is the area that you're compressing with. Okay. And then you're going to come back around and you're going to sit if you can in seiza. So then your knees are pretty much even with the top of the shoulder and you have nice contact with the person. And you're going to place your arm underneath their arm like this and place your hand on top of their shoulder. And then you're going to take your thumb and you're going to place it up underneath the occipital ridge. You feel for the mastoid process and just come behind it up underneath the occipital ridge and you just place it there and then you just pull down on the shoulder and they feel some nice firm digital compression. Yes. And you work from the mastoid process back to the spinous process, just so all up underneath that occipital ridge. And this thumb, just place it there, don't, you get, they get plenty of um, a digital compression by just pu pulling down on the shoulder. And then with your hand wrapped around the neck like this, you're just going to add some nice petrissage to the side of the neck. to the top of the shoulder. And then you're going to intertwine your fingers over the top of the shoulder and inhale and on the exhale to give them a nice neck stretch you just lean back. They get a nice stretch. Do that a couple times. You lean forward, inhale, lean back, exhale. And then the hands are like this and then they split so that you're making contact with the front and the back of the shoulder girdle, range of motion. Nice full range of motion. And again, notice I'm not doing this, but I'm just letting my body get in it one way and then the other. Okay. And then uh, come over here, please. Oh, yeah. Come, because I want you to see this position. So then I'm going to let the uh, shoulder fall forward, and that exposes more the vertebral border of the scapula. And I'm going to take my fingertips and hook them underneath the scapula. And my hand is resting on my knee. This hand's still here. So I'm going to inhale, and on the exhale, I'm just going to lean this away. And I get a nice lift separation of the scapula off the rib cage. Does that feel okay? Okay. Nice and easy. Working from just below the superior angle to the inferior angle. Nice and easy. Okay. And then you're going to lift knee and give this arm a nice stretch. You feel stretch, Veronica? I do. Okay, good. <laughs> nice stretch. So uh, one thing is that when you stretch, you don't stretch it down here. You stretch it this way and then curl out. Again, I ask you, you feel? I, yes, I do. <laughs> okay. okay. Now let's uh, stop there.